Well, hello and welcome to a Thursday here at Growing Deeper Daily. Every day, getting into the Word of God together. This first week, we're looking into the book of Proverbs as we lay out for ourselves what we're going to be doing for the rest of the summer, really through the end of July. Together, we are looking into the great wisdom of this book. I want to encourage you, if you're looking for some type of Bible reading plan, start just by reading a proverb a day, a chapter of the Proverbs a day. There's 31. You've heard this modeled before, I'm sure. Uh, One chapter a day in the book of Proverbs and try to glean even from that one chapter, just one verse uh, that God is specifically applying to you in order to live a wise life in this world. I want to encourage you in that. Uh, Today we want to talk about the call of wisdom here as we set the framework for what we're going to be discussing in these coming weeks. Uh, We've talked about the benefits of wisdom. We've talked about living under the fear of the Lord. Uh, We've talked about the invitation uh, to choose the immediately difficult for the long-term blessing as opposed to the immediately simple for the long-term pain. Uh, And today we want to talk about the call of wisdom. Uh, And then tomorrow we're going to talk about when we don't heed that call. But the call of wisdom, verse 20 of chapter 1. Wisdom cries aloud in the streets. In the market, she raises her voice. At the head of the noisy streets, she cries out. At the entrance of the city gates, she speaks. How long, O simple ones, will you love being simple? How long will scoffers delight in their scoffing and fools hate knowledge? If you turn out my repute... Behold, I will pour out my spirit to you. I will make my words known to you. The call of wisdom. Wisdom is available. That's what I want you to get from this section of scripture today. Wisdom is available. Um, Oftentimes we're faced with difficult choices. Uh, Some that we maybe uh, just don't know which way to go. You may be facing some right now in your own life unsure about what business decision to make, uh, what decision to make with your family, uh, personally, maybe in your own finances, uh, or how best to share the gospel with those around you, or how to take that next step in your spiritual growth and walk with the Lord. Uh, We may, in those moments, feel as if there is no answer. However, wisdom calls out. Also, this text reminds us that uh, when we are pursuing simple, hedonistic, scoffing, hateful things, wisdom is there that tells us, stop it. Stop it. Wisdom is there for direction and how to move forward, and it's also there as a reproof to tell us to stop it. It's personification here of wisdom uh, as lady wisdom, screaming out, crying out, laying out, uh, stop the path that you are on. Wisdom is available. You know, oftentimes when we start to get into that cycle of poor choices in our life, uh, that cycle of um, self-indulgent decisions, that cycle of not seeking after the things that are best for me and others, but that only gratify me in the moment, we, we, we are not recognizing that God's wisdom is there available to us. It's there. It's not hard to find. Will you listen to its voice? Here it is. How long will you love being simple? How long will you love to scoff? If you turn at my reproof, I will pour out my spirit. I'll make my words known to you. And I want you to see that. That wisdom, while it cries out, wisdom, while it calls out to us, it does not um, enforce itself on us. We need to repent. That's what this text is saying. Will you turn at my reproof? When you see the error of your way, will you turn back and repent? Some of us today need to repent of the foolish choices we have been making. Some of us today need to repent for our lack of desire to obey God. Some of us need to repent of the sinful ways we have treated others and acted. And when we do, wisdom is available. We don't have to be simple and foolish forever. Will you embrace wisdom today? Will you listen to its reproof? How is God reproving you? You know, he, the scriptures tell us that the ones that he loves, he disciplines, that a good father calls back his children to himself Will we respond 
Will we humble ourselves? Will we find wisdom? It's available. Whatever challenge you're looking forward to or, or that your, your challenge that you're facing, wisdom is available. Repent and open your ears and eyes to what God has for you. The wisdom of God's word, the wisdom found in God's people, and the wisdom that the very Spirit of God can give us in our life. Seek it out. It's there. It's available. Take it today. I'll see you tomorrow.